Weisinger's open, 18, connect. Good ball reversal by Illinois, really it's the first time they've done it all night. Still keeping the ball alive to Jones. He finds Wright, in and out, ball still inside, Wright comes up with it and is fouled. Iowa got buried. Norman, baseline jumper is good. Watch out if he gets hot. By Marble, Weisinger from downtown. Four on one break for the Hawks. Bill Jones, spin move, and followed up by Roy Marble. That was a four on one opportunity by the Hawkeyes. Roy, I'm on my team. They go inside to Norman, driving to the hoop, and in uncontested. Four points for Ken Norman. No defensive threat. 5.05 left. The lob goes inside to Lorenzen, and it'll count. Foul by Winters. I don't see how he got that one through. Lorenzen fighting with Winters and Welch. And Armstrong brings it down and sets it up. Right, jab time. I'll tell you, Gary Wright caught Norman with a. Welch, his baseline. Looked like a travel. Float the lane in that zone and keep the ball away from that man. Weisinger will take it baseline. And if you leave him alone, he won't miss. And you cannot leave Anthony Welch alone from 15. He will pop it. 10 points now, double. Thirty-one twenty-seven, Iowa. Anthony Welch. Fifteen for Welch. Wright finds Lorenzen inside. Turnaround jumper rattles around and falls. Boy, he felt the pressure. Twenty-three thirty-one. And Norman comes up with another steal. Welch. Jam time. Here to Assembly Hall. Sweaty palm time. What pressure for a freshman. And he hits the first. Roy Marble connects. Now and Iowa has the lead. Lohaus on the ball for the pass. Lorenzen tries to get out around the pick. The ball goes into Lohaus, and he is tied up and fouled with three seconds left. And he misses. Douglas throws up a player at the buzzer, and Iowa has beaten Illinois. And Illinois, what a split for the Hawkeyes. And George Raveling is hugging Iowa Rins, and the Iowa team is going crazy. Iowa has beaten Illinois 60 to 59. They take home a split after all. Unbelievable. Has their biggest lead of the ball game, nine points. The Rins in fighting, jab time. Thanks. Grading some offense. A win against Illinois, and now here they're starting to, to get in control against Minnesota. And that break was led by a forward, Roy. Wilson will stay in with four fouls. 47-35, Iowa by 12. Marble makes it court. That's Wilson's best move, a penetrating drive using the left hand. And Roy Marble gets hot, he is unstoppable. Minnesota has not rolled over and died. They are in this ball game, 53-43. Minnesota's in. Pressure everywhere by Minnesota. Inside the right, and he drills it home. Forward to the Michigan schools coming in next week. Marble, jam time. Icing on the cake. Starts pushing it up. Banks finds Marble. Explain that one to me. One of their shooters, either Pollock or Skiles, kind of drift away on the other side of the court. Skiles on the steal. Pulled down by Gary Wright. Andre Banks made a tremendous choice. Nice block by the Hawks. They try to turn it into a bucket. Roy Marble to Jones. 
Right, baseline jumper blocked by Florida. And then Florida loses it, jab time! Eddie Horton kept his hands active, being able to strip the ball from Fordham. Andre Banks with the steal. Jab time! And look for Michigan State to get the tempo back in their favor. Iowa did a tremendous... Marble drives baseline and scores! Iowa 61, Michigan State 43. Baseline to Lorenzen for the layup. A good feed by Horton from the corner. Operating down deep. A lot of pressure under there on Roy Marble. All the way across the key. What a feed from Gary Grant to Tarpley with the reverse. Marble with the defensive rebound. Here comes Iowa's Andre Banks. Into the lane. Yes! What a move against the big man. Fast break. You stop that initial drive. They go right into the best first shot they can get. Lorenzen underneath. It looks like they're transferring different plays or, or happenings in the game down to the bench. Nice touch by the big man. Al Back to Lorenzen. He's matched up against Butch Wade. Jones for the left side. Bill Jones, 6'7", sophomore. Right made the defensive play. And the shot missed, but Jones there for the easy follow. As Wright was, as it was pulled down by Roy Marble, and the Hawkeyes with a chance to take their first lead. Banks isn't going to waste any time. Jerry Wright setting a pick on Gilbert, so Jones gets loose. That was a pick about 15 feet from the basket. Roy Marble from outside. First pass into the, the game for the outstanding 6'6 freshman from Flint to 14, Gilbert. Marble tipped it, rebound, up and in, Glenn Rice. So he got the defensive board, 16 all. We've got 9.30 remaining first half. Gary Wright found himself open, so he might as well pump it up. And he's got his first basket of the afternoon. Really taking advantage of that early. That's Tarpley's second rebound and put back here in the game. Wright, two in a row. John, what are some of the things you can do? Here's Jobert. Tarpley, back to the hoop. Left hook, what can you do? There's it. Here comes Gary Grant leading a three on two. Jobert hard to the glass. And it's Antoine Jobert with his first. Round goes up. The other players look for him. That time it was Banks all the way at the other end. Hartley kicks it out for Rice. Look at the arc on that shot. Jones. All the way across. Jumper Andre Banks. He has eight. He's averaging ten. Wright's playing with two fouls. Going to go a little one on one here and try to force it. Look at that move with the left hand. He tried on Butch Wade. Lorenzen over Tarpley. And here they come again. Marble, three on three. Banks from 16. Glenn Rice. Tarpley. Lorenzen appeared to have control. Tarpley has his first basket of the second half. Banks from 20. That's who he's hit from downtown Iowa City in the second half. He had a throw, three quarters of the court. He made the play that time. Did the freshman have his mind made up he was going to shoot that time? He went up to Jones. Henderson, oh, luckily for Ralford, who slams it in. Henderson, 15-footer. Ooh, look at the stuff back in. Looked like Grant Morgan was diving. Here's Jobert, two on one, Tarpley, alley-oop. Wow. Down came the chandelier, and he has 16. Banks at the other end, driving and scoring quickly. And and now they'll bring it back out on top to Andre Banks to set it up. Bill Jones sees an opening. And connects for 15, 9 to Iowa. 11 4, Iowa on top, exactly 13 minutes left. And Schwabe loses the ball in the double team. Iowa has a three on one advantage to right for the easy lay in. Gary Wright, ball away jumper, hits the ground hard about 12 feet out. And no big man at all. 
And so they live and die by that jump shot. And Watts they can't get it to go. And they don't and have it any low house pulling it down. B.J. Armstrong with a little bit of icing. Five minutes, 10 seconds left. 29-14, Iowa increasing their lead to 15. Lowhouse to Marvel to B.J. for the easy bucket. That is the way to run the fast break. The big man got it to the guards. Bo Kukas has checked in. Gives Northwestern a bigger lineup. And Fullen comes up with the steal and bucket. Kukas is number 20. Schwabi finds Morris in the corner. Iowa goes for the double team. And now back to Morris. He'll put it up. And Northwestern scores the first two points in the second half. And Sean Morris drove that in. And it is Northwestern looking to push the ball up quickly. Watts pulls it down court. Morris wide open for 15. Now he's got eight. Hits the first two buckets of the second half. That's four on top. Now to Schwabi. Morris will take the baseline jumper. And that's where you can see that Sean Morris is really open. Schwabi finds a hole in that zone. Can't get it to go. Kukas, a little turnaround jumper. Now Morris hits the boards hard. Will it count? Yes, it will. And Sean Morris may have turned his ankle in a physical melee underneath the boards. Morris. Iowa failed before that against Michigan State. All five Iowa players scored in double figures. So very balanced scoring. Mo for the easy bucket. Athletic ability by Roy Marble again.